For me, it all comes back to the fact that we all eat and are thus inherently involved in agriculture. And so it's up to each of us to think about how we want agriculture to look in the 21st century in the face of growing global demand and fluctuating weather. My interest in natural resources really started pretty early and was inspired by summer vacations in the Rocky Mountains and by helping with my family's garden. From an early age, I was also pretty interested in science and math, and when I discovered I could have a career involving all these interests by being an agricultural engineer, I knew that it was the perfect fit. The Conservation Fund is really about protecting and enhancing sustainable working lands while, very importantly, ensuring that sound economics are in place so that our conservation outcomes are resilient and lasting. Now, The Fund's Freshwater Institute, which is where I work, is the organization's science, engineering, and research group, and we're really focused on providing scientific leadership worldwide, really, in issues of water conservation and water quality. Specifically, I spend time thinking about how nutrients cycle through the environment or how nutrients move in the environment and how something that's essential for plant growth, like nitrogen, can end up causing a problem if it ends up in our streams. Nitrogen is essential for life on this planet. Plants need nitrogen or they won't grow right. Human beings need nitrogen in our bodies. And uh, the atmosphere surrounding us is actually comprised of mostly nitrogen gas. The trick, however, is that when nutrients like nitrogen don't stay where they should and end up in streams, that presents challenges. At the farm level, there are a number of good options for farmers or good practices that a farmer can choose to do to help reduce nutrient pollution. In any given crop field, for example, a farmer can choose to grow a cover crop over the winter to reduce soil erosion, do conservation tillage practices, or apply fertilizer in a different way or at a different time. And all of these decisions can impact water quality. It's not as easy as just flipping a switch, however, because each of these practices will have a different impact on crop yield and on water quality improvement in any given location and in any given year. Our goal is to work with our agricultural partners to ensure that our farms are healthy businesses that are continuing to provide us food and to ensure we have clean water. In my role as an ag engineer, it's my job to think about how we can increase the efficiency of food production in a way that's good for the environment. Most of my engineering work centers around the design of a simple, natural water treatment system for farmers who are looking to reduce the amount of nitrate leaving their fields. The, these water treatment systems are called wood chip bioreactors. A wood chip bioreactor is essentially a trench filled with wood chips located at the edge of a field. And through the wood chips, you route your farm water that contains a lot of nitrogen. The wood chips contain a good natural bacteria that are able to convert the nitrate in the water to benign, harmless nitrogen gas as the nitrogen in the water flows by them. By providing these good bacteria with an ample food supply, that is the carbon in the wood chips, we're able to enhance this natural process of converting nitrogen in water to nitrogen in the atmosphere. As an engineer, I'm very focused on the technology side of water quality improvement, but the social side is also extremely important. We can design the best, most effective water quality technology, but if no farmer is interested in adopting it, we're throwing a party that no one's showing up at. Through my engineering consulting work, I'm very fortunate to be able to apply my new research findings in the field by working with a number of great partners like the Midshore River Keepers Conservancy here in Maryland and agricultural organizations like the Iowa Soybean Association and the Fertilizer Institute.